guys. Welcome back to the Vinyl Countdown. I'm Peaches. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I want to do a little bit different video tonight for you guys, all right? I want to I wanna chill a little bit, all right? We're going to have a nice, quiet talk, all right? <laughs> Does that sound okay with you guys? All right. There's two things I want to do on this uh, video tonight, all right? I want to show you guys our recent finds from this last weekend. And then I want to do a shout out to uh, people in the, in the VC. And I want to do it a little bit different than what you're probably normally used to. Um, so we'll get into that in, in, in a little bit, all right? So first, let me show you guys uh, what we found this weekend out in the wild, okay? We went to this really tiny pawn shop way out of town in the middle of this really, this really little town and we ran into some good stuff you guys i couldn't believe it check out this fastway album i've seen a few guys a few of you guys show this one and i saw it and i immediately it, yeah it went in the cart just this little rinky dink pawn shop out in the middle of nowhere definitely you guys yeah i said definitely <laughs> here's another fastway this all, this all came from the same place man Another Fastway album in great shape. I never heard these guys before. They're awesome. The guy sounds like the singer from Great White for some reason. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I got to look into that. Look. Yeah, never going to give you up. Rick Astley, you guys. Never seen it in the wild until now. Had to grab it. Funny stuff, right? Okay. And I, I saw this one on, on Ron Haggerty's channel. Said it was probably his favorite album cover. Keel. Yeah, now we got a couple of Keels in our, in our collection. So, yeah. Really liking this Keel stuff. Really liking it. As much as the fast way. Definitely. Good 80s metal. And speaking of good 80s metal. Yeah. Where in the heck did this YNT album come from? I never knew it existed. But <laughs> it's going to be another addition to our... Uh, to our collection you guys we got a pretty big ynt collection going now and i'm super happy about that and i loved listening to this album it was very good here's another one i saw this one on uh on uh, the oral retentive just bought this a little while ago it's 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 duran duran but it's not the guys from duran duran went off to the side and made another album called and it's this one right here okay so yeah, it's it's just it's like it's basically Duran Duran but slowed down a little bit. Okay, so that's that's the way I would describe that. And then you you're not gonna believe it. I've been looking for these very very hard out in the wild, you guys. It's a mint condition circus magazine. Hey vinyl victim, check this out. Right at the top it says Bon Jovi poster inside, oh, and it's there. It's mint. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish I had two cases of these. This thing is in mint condition. Circus Magazine. Oof. I am digging that completely. All right. Well, that's what we found for, for things this weekend out in the wild. Okay, you guys. Um, and here's the thing. I, I wanted, like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanted to do a shout out to uh, basically everybody that watches my channel. Okay. But I want to do it in a little bit different way. Um, instead of, um, naming channels and things right now, I want, I want to uh, go out there and, uh, show you guys a little bit about how much I care. You know, um, Mr. Peaches here seems to be, you know, kind of animated a lot and things and, and I love to have fun a lot, but I also have a, a caring side. Okay. And, uh, I kind of wanted to share that with you right now. All right. Um, but I, I do, I want to give a big shout out to everybody that watches my channel. Okay, and uh, especially this group of people um, that seem to have kind of gathered in one spot to me. Let me explain to that. Let me explain that to you a little bit. Um, you know how cricks all come in streams; they all kind of run into the same place into a big river, right? Well, I've noticed uh, this little river <laughs> getting bigger. Um, when it comes to a, a certain subject um, that I've been hearing a lot about, and uh, what it is, is um, 
uh, I've been hearing people talk about uh, the people around them, whether it's a wife, a spouse, a girlfriend, a brother, a sister, a roommate, you know, the people in your life. And, and I'm, I'm seeing a concern that, that people are sharing that those people that are in, the, in, in your life don't share the same passion for music that, that you guys do, okay? And uh, I wanted to address that a little bit with, with this shout out. Um, you know, you guys are watching this video right now about vinyl records and music and things that have to do with music, right? You're watching it on YouTube right now. So, and, and then how many of you are actually making videos for me to watch on YouTube that I enjoy, okay? Well, I can tell you just from that kind of enthusiasm and the, and the steps that we take to put these videos together, that there's an 80% chance that we have a ton more passion for music than your average person. I mean, it's pretty simple math, okay? Um, but the thing of it is, is I, I don't want you guys to get discouraged about those people in your life not liking music as much as you do. It's not a bad thing. It's just that you have a much bigger passion for it than they may have. And let, let me tell you something, you know, I, I hear you guys in my comments and stuff talking about, you know, Mrs. Peaches and I and how we can, it's great that we can share this, this stuff together. And you guys, it's a rare circumstance. It's a rare circumstance that a couple like us can can uh, share a lot of things. But we also, we, we have a lot of differences in music too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but we come up with a common deal. And, and the common deal is variety. Okay. We, we share, we share all this music together. Um, but it only goes to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Like, like here's an example. I can tell you guys right now that you have an 80% chance of your wife not loving thrash metal. <laughs> okay. Um, the deeper, the, the, the deeper down the rabbit hole you go into what you love for music, the fewer and fewer people there are that are willing to go down that rabbit hole with you. And that's why you tend to do things like search out on YouTube videos and, 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 and share those things with people that may be halfway across the country with you. Okay. But the farther up the rabbit hole towards the surface that you get, the more that you can, the more music and, and music enthusiasm you can share with other people. Now, here, let me give you an example. We have a ton of people come over to our house all the time whether it's for a get together or a party or whatever. And I got this big system set up here and I have this huge, obvious, obviously huge rack of records that everybody knows what they are, right? But does anybody ask me about it? No. Does anybody walk over to my record cabinet and go, oh, wow, look at this? No. Does anybody say, oh, what are you putting on the record player? Can I pick something out? Nobody does that, man. I, I, it may sound hard to believe, and you guys may have a different circumstance, but around my house, it's not like, it, it, it's definitely not, I'm not, nobody's sharing this passion with me. And I think it has part to do with the, uh, part to do with the society these days. Music to people nowadays is a disposable item with, with MP3s and downloading and all that stuff. It, they don't have that physical appreciation for it that we do. It's more like salt on their french fries. Yeah, it's there, but they don't notice it. They just eat the french fries. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just not part of people's lives like it used to be. And uh, we can't lose track of that, okay? But the best thing I can give people for advice that, that seem to be a little bit down about um, the people around them not sharing as much of a passion for music as, as, as you guys do um, just, just keep it light and, 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 uh, create us, uh, an atmosphere of variety. You know what I'm saying? If, if you love thrash metal, you know, maybe not thrash metal a hundred percent of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like take the other person and, and give them the reins, let them pick out the music, you know, um, you know, appreciate some of the things that, that they like and, and, and hand it to them, hand it to them like candy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you, you might see things come around, you know. Um, put on a few love songs, you know. Light a few candles. Do a, 
you know, do whatever, do whatever it is that you, that you want to do, you know, to, uh, to create, uh, an atmosphere, uh, where music can be more shared than specialized. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause we, we do, we have to admit that we get a little bit specialized when we have a thousand records in, in our, in our cabinet behind us, we tend to get a little specialized about what, what the way things go. And people may not share that same passion. You know, here, here's, here's a good uh, analogy. Do you guys ever go to car shows? Well, here's the thing. You have a couple of different types of people that go to car shows, okay? There's people that just like to go there and socialize and maybe take a look at a car or two and, and, and take some pictures and, and have a beverage, okay? But then, there, then you have the other crowd that walks around and wants to speak to the owner of the car and he wants to know, you know, hey, what's the firing order of this uh, particular Chevy V8? Is that a 396 big block? Um, yeah, okay. And so when you were installing the four-speed on the floor, did you have a problem with that clutch linkage? Do you get where I'm saying, where I'm coming from, you guys? Okay, so you, you got those two types of people that come to, to car shows. Okay, well, you have that same thing when it comes to music. There's some people that just don't, uh, that don't want to get into it you know, uh, in that much of a detail, and, and some people do. So if you can, like I said, if you can create an atmosphere where where it's, uh, it, it, there's a little bit of variety and, and, and uh, a little bit of patience, um, I think some things might come around a little bit, okay? So that's my shout out to you guys, okay? I, uh, I, I do care about the circumstances, and, and believe me, it is frustrating when, like I said, you go out and you talk to people and they just don't give a flying F about music. They come over to your house and they could care less if the radio's on. And it, it does. It hits me right here in, inside. But we just have to, as, as people that are really passionate about it, we just need to chill. Okay? <laughs> All right. Well, I had a great time on this episode. Um, I, I, I'm liking this little softer side uh, tonight. Um, it is, it's about the midnight hour. So, <laughs> um I want to leave you guys with a song, okay? Now that we've talked about all this a little bit, and I've kind of poured my, my insides out to you a little bit, um, maybe I can leave you with the song of the day uh, that uh, I have been lately. And it's it's off this Disturbed album. And it kind of reminds me of uh, what we were just talking about. And maybe if you look up the words to the song Prayer, the song is called Prayer, okay? And it's the first song on this Disturbed album. And the name of the album is Believe. Believe by Disturbed, okay? And the song is Prayer. You know, look up the words. And uh, maybe play the song for yourself. And uh, that, that might kind of give you an idea of, uh, you know, all the frustrations that go on uh, in your lives. And, uh, and uh you know, the, the, the words in the song and says, and this is how I pray. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, don't take it too literally. Um, but it might be, it might be about something um, when it comes to how you handle things and uh, how you can set yourself aside from other people and, and, and understand that you are a special person. Okay. And, and this is how you do it. You know, this is the way you walk through the world, okay? So, yeah, take a look at that song. It's Prayer by Disturbed, okay? Well, I've had a great time with you guys on this episode and uh, many more good ones to come. And uh, keep on rocking out, you know what I'm saying? We'll talk to you later. <laughs>